let's listen closely by means of reverse speech analysis to what's coming from the heart, from the subconscious of this young man who was sexually abused by his father, who happened to have been a priest in high standing of the Vatican and the Catholic Church. Listen closely. Some of the portions will be very clear and others you will have to, like I say, listen closely. He was a good person. He was a good person. Mr. When acts like like our daddy, acts like like our daddy, and a demon when he acts like a and a demon when he acts like a. Predator, predator, All the days that we stay with my dad, all the days that we stay with my dad. On every trip, on every trip, there were abuses. Was it mostly masturbation? No. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, um, well, um, my, my, I feel really sorry by my brother. I feel really sorry by my brother. Because he he was because he he was so weak. So weak. So weak. So weak. So weak. Um, he was penetrated on my dad, and uh, he was penetrated on my dad, and uh, My brother also penetrated him. My brother also penetrated him. Because my dad told him that he, that's what the way he was going to learn. Because my dad told him that he, that's what the way he was going to learn. And we told he always told us that and we told he always told us that that's the how to kiss, how to kiss, how to kiss, how 
had to kiss him because um, he was had to kiss him because um, he was so 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 that's the way we were going to learn how to kiss a girl. That's the way we were going to learn how to kiss a girl. When we grew up, when we grew up, when we grew up, when you were ten, eleven years old. Um. Whoa, I can't have to stop. <laughs> he took me. He took me. He took me. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. On a. On a. On a. was one of the fastest growing orders in the church, recruiting young men in great numbers from countries across the world. The order was founded in 1941 by Marcial Maciel, a young man with powerful family connections to Mexico's conservative Catholic elite. The Maciel case is one of the darkest um, chapters in the history of the contemporary church, without a doubt, without a doubt. There was no description of his crimes, no apologies to his victims. The Legion, which had defended him all along, never admitted that he abused any of these altar boys or young seminarians, announced at his death that he had gone to heaven. A year later, the Legionaries announced th that he had a child. Well, it soon became apparent that he had a grown daughter living with her mother, one of Maciel's paramours in Madrid. Now let's watch reverse speech in real time. Listen closely, give the subconscious mind of this young man the opportunity to sound out what's in his heart, in his subconscious. As a good person, when acts like, like our daddy and a demon when he acts like a predator. Maciel lived multiple lives and this is a rare glimpse of him on holiday. Raul and his half-brother Omar would be invited on trips like these, but Raul says there was a heavy price for the boys to pay. All the days that we stayed with my dad on every trip, there were abuses. Was it mostly masturbation? No. <laughs> well, um, I feel really sorry by my brother because he, he was, um, he was penetrated by my dad and uh, my brother also penetrated him. 
because my dad told him that he, that's what the way he was going to learn. And we to, he always told us that how to kiss, how to kiss him because um, he was, we, that's the way we were going to learn how to kiss a girl when we grew up. When you were 10, 11 years old? Um, 10. Whoa, I can't have to stop. <laughs> He took me on a, how you say, on a walk. He said, 